Hi guys, Marina here. So I got a request to show some of my techniques and I thought, yeah, why not? So that's something really I would like to do. One really important thing for me is warming up. So it's like the basics. Obviously, if you're not um, warmed up, you're not able to play relaxed and you will feel stiff and you will get problems with your wrist. So I think one of the most important things for a drummer. So I thought I'd show you this really simple warm-up I'm doing every day. And I'll just take, I just start with my right hand. I'll take the stick and all you need is a practice pad. I just place it on my snare, really simple. Just take whatever you have. And you just start with your right hand. Just do like that. You know, and make always sure that your fingers are really connected with the stick so they are not falling around or anything like that. I call them the police. <laughs> so they always stay there and they control it. But they are really loose, but they are always connected to the stick. So just start to do like that. And it's really important that your wrist is like flat. It's not like this or that. It's really like your arm and your stick are really connected with each other. And you can also control that by just placing your stick on your wrist. So you make sure it's really flat. And you really use the rebound by doing that. And again, the fingers stay on your stick. go to the other side and again and really feel that rebound and let the stick bounce back naturally and you can do that like for 10 minutes you can do it half an hour however you feel comfortable with that and you feel that it starts to loosen up the important thing is that I'm not like feeling like tense here it should really be relaxed you know everything should be relaxed and something really important for me always is to breathe to keep breathing you know it's really important for a for a drummer to breathe for everyone obviously but for me it's really important that I have this breath and I always breathe in my belly Inhale from my nose and exhale from my mouth. So after we did that, we'll bring both hands together. Like we do exactly the same thing with both hands. And again, I make sure my wrist is everything is straight here. thumb and my index finger they are holding the stick in a way and always make sure that you have this nice pizza piece in a way you know you don't want to be like that it has always to be controlled it has to look nicely and feel nice and use the rebound really use the rebound all right Another thing you can do after I did that, or sometimes I do it before, it depends how I'm feeling, but I'm always doing this exercise where I just like keep my arm straight, take the other one from above and push it back, but really soft at the beginning, you know, not like, uh, not like that, like really soft, you push it back and you feel this, that it's like this nice kind of stretching. It shouldn't hurt, but you really want that it's that you get that feeling that it's stretching. And then you slowly release it. It's always important to do not something abrupt, you know, always make a slow, slow motion. Same on the other side, bend it back. And it should really feel, you should feel comfortable and not tighten up. Stay loose and keep breathing. And then I loosen it up again slowly. 
Another great exercise, the second one I'm always doing is, I hope you can see that, but I'm just taking my arm like that and again I'm pushing it upwards with the other hand and like that I have again that nice stretch feeling. Loosen it up again and do the same thing, the exact same thing on the other side. And again loosen it. And I'm shaking out my arms. Not too much, just really relaxed. Just making sure my whole body is relaxed. I can also circle my shoulders a bit, you know, different directions. This is what I'm working with when I'm playing the drums, so you want to get your whole body involved with it. So really an important thing to also warm up your feet, not just your hands. I'm playing heel up, so I'm just um, making sure that my feet is connected to the ground. Like I'm here, you can see I'm like heel up, but this part of my foot, this front part, is really connected to the ground. You can like imagine it a bit, a bit like chewing gum who is always holding you down. So this part should be really connected. And with the heel you don't go up too much, you know, just a little bit, you know, it's enough to be like that. And I'm just starting to push that down. And again, I'm not jumping around, really make sure you always stay connected to the ground. And I'm doing that for a few minutes, just so everything starts to warm up, my feet is starting to feel loose in a way, and I feel comfortable with that. And after a while, I'm starting to bring in my left hand. So I'm doing the same thing like before with my left hand, just this time I'm also doing the same thing with my left foot. And I bring both sides together in a way, you feel the left side of your body is really unisono, it's working together. Some of you guys may know I'm also a singer. For many drummers, the thought of also singing is like really stressful in a way because you're like, how can you do that? How can you breathe? I had the same problem at the beginning. I felt like my, my air was gone, you know? But it's all, everything it's about practicing and just feeling comfortable with it. And you need a lot of breath, obviously. So I would like to show you what I'm doing to feel comfortable to play drums and singing at the same time. Well, I'm starting with that simple warm-up lesson for my voice. And it's just, you take a deep breath into your belly, always into your belly and through your, through your nose. Me, I, yo. And you really make sure that all your air is going out through your mouth and you make this O, this O shape, 
with your mouth and you're pushing out all of the air so there is no air left now i connected that exercise with my drumming i'm taking my sticks and i start to do that and now i'm taking a deep breath and i'm starting to do the exercise a few times until you feel comfortable and what you maybe also noticed I'm like trying to do it um, with the same I have the same tempo with my voice so everything is connected in a way my whole body is connected when I do that exercise and it's really important it's all about the breath it's all about breathing you want to get enough breath inside your belly and really push it out and get rid of everything, you know, just let it flow, let the energy flow. I hope that was helpful. That's really what I'm doing, you know, and I do that every day, you know, drumming, it's about repeating stuff, basically, right? You do it every day, again and again, maybe sometimes you're tired of that, <laughs> but it's really so important to repeat things. So like that, it's really, it really becomes a part of you in a way. And for me, that's the most important thing. And like that, you will feel comfortable with that. And you will learn more about your, your body and how you feel when you're playing the drums, because it's a certain kind of feeling. And it's something you can to discover, you know? And it's a, a beautiful word, really magical in a way to discover all of that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that, again, I hope that was helpful. If you do have any questions, please just let me know. You can text me or whatever, leave a comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye!